everyone. I just wanted to show you my November kit uh, DT project for Scrapbooking with Me Boutique. I apologize in advance because my dog is sniffing away and you probably could hear her little nose going off as she sniffs my little set here. Um, so anyway, going back to my project, this is the November Scrapbooking with Me Boutique um, November kit and it features the Vintage Christmas by Blue Fern Studios. It also had uh, Tim Holtz, stop! Tim Holtz poinsettia stencil as well as uh, Petaloo's, um, there was a pack of Petaloo poinsettias in it. White, well, each, each kid had a different set of poinsettias. So um, it was a gorgeous kit. The Blue Fern Studios, it definitely is probably one of my favorite lines. Their paper quality is phenomenal. Uh, so going to my showing you my project uh, The first thing I want to tell you is that I did not make that little uh, Sled sleigh. I don't know sleigh sled whichever one it is. I didn't make it I bought it at one of the hobby stores and um, it was a dollar and it was 50% off so I spent a whole 50 cents on it and it was you know it was unfinished it was just plain old wood color so I grabbed my gesso and I gessoed it up to make it white. Um, also, I used um, the following papers from the Vintage Christmas lines. Um, the red and white striped, which is the front here, is the... Gee, I had them all figured out. Go, oh, Casey. Okay. That one is Magical, the back of Magical, and uh, I absolutely love that one because it's it has color, but it also isn't, it's a little on the muted side, so it's not too, uh, too crazy or bright. Uh, I also used, in my little December 25th, is a Tim Holtz from the Ephemera Pack, the Christmas Ephemera Pack. Um, I cut it out, and I put it on one of these um, little resin frames. Uh, Melissa Francis, I believe that little frame is. Then I had these in my stash, these little Christmas trees, which I took some uh, gold embossing powder and some Versamark and I stamped the ho 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 and then I embossed it, heat embossed it. The lace that you see here is Phenomenal! It's so beautiful, and uh, I was in I was in New York City a few weeks ago, and when I go to New York City, I always have to go to the trim stores, you know, to the fashion district, and we ended up at one of the big ones where, I kid you not, there were 20 foot walls of trim and lace, and I, it's amazing. I can't wait to go back. I was pretty new to Periscope at that point. I had probably just downloaded it the day before, so I was a little intimidated, so I didn't Periscope. Besides, I had no follower, maybe one follower, so I didn't I didn't make one. But next time, which hopefully in the next couple weeks, I do plan on going back to the city, and I am gonna make a Periscope there because if you're ever in New York City, that has to, if you're a crafter, you have to go there. I have never seen so much trim in my life. There were trim, pieces of trim there that were a hundred dollars a yard but again they were gorgeous so anyway getting back to my project so I used some of their trim from um, from the trim store from New York and some of these little gold pieces that you see here are all from uh, those little bushy things that they sell at the uh, at the hobby stores that you uh, make your wreaths out of like little bunches or something my fake snow, which I got to tell you, I wanted to put snow on it. It needed something. I couldn't figure out what it was. And then I said, you know what? Maybe I need to make some snow. I ordered some of the Prima snow flake paste, but I haven't gotten it yet. So I had to come up with something. And I said, well, let me try mixing some of these pastes up. So I grabbed some uh, Viva Cristal Gel, some Golden Glass bead gel. 
I also added some micro beads in, they were like clear ones. And if I'm not mistaken, I used some uh, iridescent big glitter, like the big chunky glitters. And I mixed it all up and it looked so good. It looked like snow, it was white. But then it dried to like this clear, icy look, which you will see in my pictures. It's gorgeous, I love it. I was so happy with it. I put it everywhere, as you can tell, and um, you will see, you can see close-ups on the pictures at the end of this video. So, going back to my project, I'm just going to turn it around for you, and you will see that in the front, I used some pearls, from pearl trim. The paper I used for that side is the Vintage Christmas Deck the Halls, and... Uh, I really didn't do too much to the front. I am not a, I, I like things simple. I have a simple mind and I don't like when they're over the top done. I think to me that is just too much. Um, so I wanted to keep it as simple as possible. On this side, I added a poinsettia from Petaloo and a couple more pieces of those gold little leaves that you see. And then the back of my um, sleigh, sled, whatever, I'm gonna have to look that one up, um, is a piece of the vintage Christmas deck the halls again. And that one thing about this picture of this paper is that the edges of it have these beautiful designs that, I mean, you can cut out and as you can see there, I kind of made it look like it was a chandelier. And I added more pearls to the tops and to the bottom of it. Inside I used, and I didn't do the bottom because I figured no one's gonna look at the bottom. I used the back of Wonderland. I'm sorry if you're seeing the top of my dog's head. She keeps trying to get up here. And as you can see, I just did the inside. I distressed it with a little tea stain from Tim Holtz. And that is my sled. Then inside you saw some tags and the first one is a Merry Christmas one and it's probably one of my favorites um, the card the little tree is from the greeting cards uh, sheet of paper where it has um, lots of little cards that you can cut out I'll show you a piece of that paper um, some these are some of the images that, that come on that sheet okay and uh, Merry Christmas was also one of from from the greeting cards and I fussy cut that out and added the snowflake unfortunately I did um, I did use a an embossing folder into snowflake one by Daris um, you can't see it I completely covered it up but you can see the back of it I guess and then the next card I made was also using the cards from the greeting cards. And I fussy cut the little girl and I used some, my apologies, my dog tried to knock over because she needs to know everything and she almost knocked over the whole little um, display here. So my second card is also using greeting cards. I did um, use a Wink of Sella clear glitter pen to give her a little shimmer and I'll bring a close-up so you can see the, the shimmer I don't think you can see that but there's shimmer there I also used uh, some of the Christmas red um, stickles to make my berries stand out a little bit the lace is from Prima and this is a very 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 old rub-on um, I don't even know who make, makes it. I've probably had it in my stash for a good six, seven years. And I just want to mention that these uh, seam bindings are red, but they were so faded because they. Uh, one of my best friend's uh, mother's-in-law passed away about 20 years ago, and she had this whole box of, of like of sewing stuff, and she gave them to me not too long ago. And... These two, there were two packs of red seam binding, but they were so old and so, like, 
not red. <laughs> so I used some Adirondacks, uh, I believe it's cranberry alcohol ink, and I stained them up. They do look stained and they do look very vintage, and I really love how they turned out. I mean, you probably can see there how it has darker areas. They almost almost look velvety. And then my last tag, I use the Tim Holtz Poinsettia stencil, and I use some Versamark to um, stencil onto my paper. And then once uh, once I finished putting the Versamark down, I used the Wow Ho 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 embossing powder, and I heat embossed it. I added this Merry Christmas sentiment, which is a stamp that I that's from my stash. God knows whose or when I got it. And um, I also did the same thing. I heat embossed it, and I just added this little simple uh, silver bow to the top because it was pretty shimmery and shiny already without adding anything. And I also added a couple little silver sequences that I ordered from the boutique a while back. So as you can see, it's very glittery. It's so pretty. So this is my De my November kit project. And I will have a second one coming up soon. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to, if you're not a subby, please don't forget to sub my channel. I will be giving out a 200, I mean, uh, oof, at 250 50 people or subbies, I will be giving out a $50 gift card to Scrapbooking With Me Boutique. And um, I'm hoping I can do this by December 31st. That would be like phenomenal. I definitely want to be able to give this gift card out before CHA. Edith carries all the CHA products that come in and um, I'm really excited to see what's new and I'm sure you are too and what better way to buy it than if you can get it for free so don't forget 50 bucks tell your friends hope to see you all soon Merry Christmas if I'm not back before them but I hope to be back and thank you for watching